One billion of seven billion people in the world go hungry. Of those seven billion, 14 million are school-aged children here in the United States. They go to bed at night with stomach aches, headaches, and don't know where their food's gonna come from the next day. We've all seen the face of hunger, perhaps at a local food pantry, or while traveling abroad, or during the TV campaign to eradicate hunger. Its face is haunting. Very often we feel we can't do anything about it, but with the Earthbox World Food Day project and kit, we can. One classroom, one box at a time. Now, what are we going to be addressing? We're going to be addressing food security. Food security depends upon having the nutrients that you need. In order to survive and be healthy and have a healthy lifestyle, you need fruit, dairy, grain, vegetables, and protein. These are the things that are missing in the diets of so many people around the world. One billion. But numbers don't describe the hungry child. The child who is a disadvantaged child can't grow, develop, and learn like other kids, has trouble focusing, gets headaches, doesn't pay attention in school. So what are our objectives with this project? Well, we're going to learn about food security, its challenges and solutions. We're going to actually grow lettuce. We're going to observe World Food Day, and by observe, we're going to host an event, an observance of those who do go hungry and trying to advance food security and the alleviation of hunger. And we're going to put a little science into that by collecting valid and reliable data from an earth box, which is a controlled environment, so our experiments will be authentic. And finally, that experiment, we're going to test a hypothesis, a working hypothesis, one that has already proven that you can get 2,500 grams of lettuce from an earth box. We'll see if that is true throughout our study. So what is in our earth box for World Food Day School Kit? Everything we need to meet those objectives. The Jiffy Seed Starter Greenhouse. It protects our little lettuce seeds from the environment the instructor's guide with 10 student activities that's going to guide us through the processes and procedures to make it through the whole project. The seed planting tool that helps us to direct the little lettuce seeds to where they need to be in the pellets of the Jiffy Greenhouse. The romaine valmain lettuce seeds. These organic seeds can be grown in the fall, spring, or summer. The 800 millimeter beaker which is used to measure water to, when we're measuring water going into both the greenhouse or into the ready-to-grow system and collecting it on our data collection forms. The World Food Day sticker. We use that to promote the program when our Jiffy greenhouse is outdoors and when our ready-to-grow kit is outdoors so all who come by the school can see that we're involved in the World Food Day project. The wooden plant label. This tool used by all horticulturalists identifies the crop and cultivar we plant in the ready-to-grow kit and remains in the garden throughout the project. The biodegradable weatherproof marker, of course, is used to put that information on the wooden label so that it stays fresh and we can see it throughout the time and season of the lettuce growth. The platform scale. Now we use this to measure the weight of each of the 10 heads of lettuce to see and test the hypothesis. Will we grow out 2,500 grams of lettuce as the working hypothesis indicates? And finally, last but not least, is the earth box mulch cover. This cover provides us with the authentic environment we need to perform an experiment. The Jiffy Greenhouse is how we start planting our seeds. And then 14 days later, we are able to see that they've sprouted and germinated and we have healthy little seedlings. So how do we go about transplanting the seedlings from the Jiffy Greenhouse to the earth box? It's a simple matter of cutting holes in the mulch cover to provide a space for our little pellets to fit. When we are finally done putting in the pellets, we can see that we have 10 beautiful little seedlings perk and ready to grow into 2,500 grams of Valmain lettuce. So we've waited our 50 days, our lettuce is ready to harvest, and we want to see if we have met the goal. Did we grow out 2,500 grams of lettuce? Well, I'm going to ask members of team number one and team number two to come up and cut the lettuce and to weigh the lettuce using the platform scale, and we're going to find out finally after 50 days, did we get 2,500 grams of lettuce? And after which, we want to share our findings. We want to share our experience with the project and we're going to observe World Food Day this October 16th. 
we're going to invite our principal, we could invite our parents, we can invite the director of the food pantry. And what will we ask them to come to see? Well, in the first place, we're going to demonstrate the number of people who have issues with hunger around the world, and we're going to have a report on our data collection and whether we met and tested the hypothesis and proved it to be true. Following that, the year is open for us to continue to do all we can to advance food security and to alleviate hunger in any way we can, now and in the future.